Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 41 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're in this part of Northern Hyrule Field. Remember this part where I actually found a gold bug and a cave that I decided not to visit? Well, I think now would be a good time to actually visit it. If I remember correctly, it was right over here. I think this is the right one. I, I know there is a cave in Northern Hyrule Field I gotta go to. Yep, this is the one. You actually need the ball and chain for this. That is why I did not go there. Because I knew if I did, then well, obviously, I would not be able to do anything with it. So, let's just get that ball and chain ready. So we get to this part. Now, as you can see here, there's a whole lot of these slider puzzles. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. And you don't only have to do one, you gotta do three. <laughs> so we should do this, and then this, put this one over here, <laughs> and then we push this all to the right, like so. And let's see, I believe I gotta push this one again, this time straight down. Then we'll take this one and well, this one for sure. Gotta make sure I'm catching this one and not the other. Okay, we're we're getting somewhere. We're we're getting somewhere. Now I gotta push it again. This time we go up and then to the right and then down, and that should do it. So that's the first puzzle. This one's actually not too bad. Then we get to this one, where you got two switches you gotta press down. So, yeah, th this should be awful fun. And it's actually like this. Okay, so let's take this one, put it over here. And then this one can go here. And by doing this, we'll have weighed that switch down, which is gonna be great for us. So, we're kind of halfway there. Somewhat. Now, we gotta take this one. Put it over here. And, let's see. Okay, it's gotta go down. Now, as you can tell, I found this, like, solution on GameFAQs. I was someone by the name of Happy Joe 5 I was not looking to do this kind of puzzle myself because I would just tear it to pieces. Uh, this one gotta go here next. And then we actually gotta take this uh, block off the switch. Yeah, we're actually like uh, resetting ourselves on purpose to go over here. And then this can also go over here. And then we gotta push it up a little ways. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, 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 I see what I gotta do. I gotta push this one again. Then I'll go on the second switch. But we still got a ways to go, it seems. So let me take this one. Push that <laughs> down. And I think it's gotta go left. From proportion of the map, that's what I mean to say, when I mean left. And then, I can do, let's see, well, this is the way I want it to be. Push that up here. Yep, yep, this is gonna work, so I need to push this one. Done! That's the second one. Now there's only one more. This time it only looks like there's one switch, but there's like 25 different squares. So this is actually a pretty large one, but you can do it within 15 moves. That's the, I'm pretty sure that's the minimum. Maybe there is an easier way to do this, I have no idea. But this is the way I found online. <laughs> Because, again, I was not going to try to find my own solution. <laughs> Can you blame me? Because this looks very intimidating. Okay, let me 
me push this one in the southwest corner. And then push it to the southeast corner. It's like Ring Around the Rosie, but with blocks. And now we gotta line them up again. Alright, this time we're actually gonna push the middle one to go here. Uh, I think it's this one I gotta push. Yeah, yeah, it's that one for sure. Yep, that's the way I want to do it. And then I want to push this one over here. And I don't have real need for this one to be in this spot, so let me put it back in this corner. And then put it in this corner. Oh yeah, then I push it like up and then left. And there, we'll have solved the puzzle. And that's all she wrote! Well, actually, that's all he wrote, because he put a little screenshot of everything, which is nice. Okay. We got ourselves another heart piece. Alright, we're making ourselves some progress. One more and I can get a heart container. I believe that's all the heart pieces I can get for now. So, we actually get to continue the main story. So what I should do is head back to Telma's bar. Yeah, ironically, I'm doing this on the exact same recording session as I did the snowboarding one. So, I've calmed down a little bit. Yep, so let's go back to Castletown. Alrighty then. Okay, so according to the sages, the next piece of the mirror is somewhere in the Sacred Grove. That's the only logical place to look. Yeah, let me just teleport right in front of you. You saw me warp into Hylian Link, and you don't seem to care. What the hell? This makes no sense. Alright, what mail did I... No, that's my hidden skills. Alright, Agatha had a dream last night. Butterflies surrounded Agatha and lift her up in the sky. <coughs> As she waved to the people in Castletown, she could see so many so many waving backs, many others wide-eyed. Agatha threw in a big circle around Hyrule Field and the butterflies formed into a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again. Soon they faded away and she woke up in her bed. Was she on drugs when she wrote that to me? I feel bad. You paid me visit and I had not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled lots now. Very much fun. I already joined you. Why did I still get that letter? Maybe they probably wrote it before I did that little mini game. But, oh well. Let's go to Telma's bar and continue our quest. So let us get a move on, shall we? Why do I talk in a Sean Connery voice? I take swords for 400 from back. <laughs> oh, that's epic. I like the uh, Celebrity Jeopardy skits from Saturday Night Live back in the day, though my mom doesn't like them. She doesn't find them funny. Uh, I guess uh, she has a slightly different sense of humor from mine, but doesn't almost everybody have a slightly different sense of humor from me? You don't want to know half the things I find funny these days. Let us continue on. Alright, I almost died snowboarding, so what happened without me? At the moment, I'm absolutely entranced by the sky beings known as the Oka. Yes, according to legend, Hyrule was made by the Hylians, who, as we all know, are the closest race to the gods. But also, according to legend, long ago there was a race even closer to the gods, and some say these creatures made the Hylians. When they created the people of Hylia, they simultaneously created a new capital, a city that floated in the heavens. They dwelt there, and some scholars believe that this race lives there still, somewhere in the great sky. Sky beings. Isn't that simply marvelous, old boy? What I wouldn't give to meet them! Maybe you will someday. Yeah, Russell's gone. Yeah, I saw it. I'll be sure to do that. Let me check the map. I 
I wonder if the Sacred Grove that Russell mentioned is near this mark. Well, we already know where the Sacred Grove is, we just gotta go there again. I have to talk to Russell, Hot Real Southern Wood. Yeah, I already checked. But thanks, though! So, I guess we're heading back to the Sacred Grove. Hopefully, we can get a war point there. And hopefully, it'll be nighttime because I believe there are some poses we can actually get now in the Sacred Grove that we couldn't before. So, let's be on the lookout for those if we get the chance. I figure we go over here because this is the best place we can actually warp. So, I'm probably just going to, like... And you know what? It's probably just going to be daytime by the time I get there. Let me see if that rock patch is all cleared up. I think I already checked before, but I'm going to talk to the Goron. Just to engage as a friendly chit-chat. Ah, oh, Agatha is outside. I wonder what the path is like. Shouldn't be that special. Probably just like straightforward on the way to the province. Yeah, it kinda is. There's really no point for me to continue on. No, not Ordona province. Farron province. Russell should probably be near the entrance. I don't think he would have been able to get to Sacred Grove himself. But, you know, stranger things have happened. I don't want to buy potions from you. You're scary. Let me go talk to him in my Hylian form. It has been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. Oh yeah, that's where I saved your son from those, uh, bacoblins. So many memories here. Say... Do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say there is an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their anxious, our civilization, ancient but very sophisticated, are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I'm sure it would go a long way towards saving Hyrule. Link, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? Let me say no. Getting across the gorge and entering the temple will be difficult. Make no mistake. But I'm sure you can do it. If only I had your courage and strength. I too would fight to restore the peace. But I am not the man I once was. Let me talk to you again. Maybe I can say yes. I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. Wait, was there like a small chest by that stump? A golden cuckoo? Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you will definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. Uh, we'll check that out later, but first... That doesn't really help me, but I figure I'll get that chest out of the way. Why are you walking across the edge like that? Well, you're doing your job, I will say. But remember, you gotta go over here next, and there we go. We gotta wait. Is the wind just not gonna go? I think I better use my boomerang. So I probably don't even need this uh, golden coco anymore, except to well, get across here. At least it doesn't run away from you. Oh, Lola's just making some strange noises in her sleep. Isn't that cute? Oh, I thought I knocked this thing down! Into 
the pit. That would have been very embarrassing. Yeah, it looks like I'm still gonna need this the entire way. Yeah, let's chop up some grass. And... Actually, I don't need any more hearts or anything. If anything, I'll just stall for time just to make sure that it's gonna be sunset or something. You know, just to make sure that I can get some of those poles. I think that'll be good. They usually show up around late sunset anyway. It doesn't have to be pitch black. In fact, it's pitch black here anyway. I wonder how different this place is. Ah, oh, Skull Kid's back. I actually have to fight this scum again? He doesn't really let up. Better go follow him then. He went this way, I believe. Is this the way he went? Because I can't really hear him. Let's see if he's up here. Nope, not up here. You think they would at least give you a map at this point because you've been here before? However, the game is not that generous. Oh, I can hear him. Yes, you're not that far from here, buddy. You thought you could hide from me, you scum. Okay, there, there's definitely a pole around the water, that kind of area. So I better keep my eyes peeled for it. Ah! You missed. There it is, it's right here. So how do I get up there then? Do I just get up on this side? Oh my god! And they're just gonna keep hitting me until I die? Oh my god, they're merciless! I can't even see where I'm to anymore, wow! Oh, nice to see on, that's good. Yes! Good. It's another pole to my collection. Alright, now let's go find where the Skull Kid went. I took a lot of damage from these puppets. Too much. Hmm. I think I'm going backwards here. I think I am. Two 
those lazy shoes. Oh god, I'm back in the beginning, damn it! Oy. If only like more of these areas were closed off, it'd be a lot easier to find them actually. I can't hear his music around here. God, he's here. Found him. Oh, I'm gonna shove this sword straight up his ass one of these days. Wait, how can I reach him from here? Can I use my arrows for this? Yes, I can. Now, where'd you go off to? Oh, well that makes it easy for me. But I actually saw the pathway he opened. Is this a fairy actually giving me hints? I feel like it is. Or is it actually just targeting uh, doorways for some strange reason? I feel like this hasn't helped me in the slightest. It just opened a pathway to where I already was, in that waterfall area. Maybe he went in here and I could actually climb up to him. Oh god. Many of them just don't stop. Okay, so oh man, we'll check out here this time. Now I feel like I'm going back. This pathway is closed. This is going to send me back to the very first room, isn't it? Nope, different one. Is it different one? Yeah, it's different. Ugh, I'm so confused. Why couldn't I have, like, a wolf scent that allows me to, like, track where the Skull Kid went? Because it seems my hearing is not enough. You have to do more to find him. That way's not open. I actively hate this guy because he's just so hard to find. It doesn't help that he keeps bringing in an infinite supply of enemies for me to kill. Have I checked up here? Oh, that's where he hit the first time. I just wish the cues for looking for him were like a little bit wider. Because he seems so small. Like you have a very little window in which you can look. And it's so annoying. I've already checked up here. This is going to take forever, isn't it? Like, I know he went around this way in that little doorway he just created. But it doesn't really lead anywhere special. It just makes the hint so damn vague. Like, he went here. But he never really went up here. As far as I know, there's no, like, underwater tunnel. I mean, this is all it leads to. Like, just go upstairs, that's it. You've already gone this way. To find a Poe, he's not here. So did he go in this direction, then? I'm 
try this way. Yeah, I've already tried this way one too many times. Was it this way I tried? Yeah, it was this way. Yeah, remember, this doesn't really lead anywhere, so let me go back. There's another ramp I could climb. Like around here. And try climbing up this one. But then again, I was here. Oh, this is so infuriating. Like, I get little to no help looking for him. I betcha there's like one way that I kept skipping like half a dozen times. Thinking that's where I needed to go, but it wasn't. Like, there's two pathways here. Have I even checked them? No, I, I just went in a circle! Ah, damn it! I literally went in a circle! Why can't these puppets just give me a hint as to where he went? Like, just come from one direction, and then I was like, oh, I gotta look there then. Maybe I'll look that way. Huh, fair enough. See, even if you press one, it's, it's parts unknown, pretty much. God. Where am I screwing up? I thought, like, well, you're not fighting the Skull Kid. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure if I knew where he was, I would have found him by now. Rather than just waste time on purpose. around here. Is he up? As soon as I, like, kill those puppets, I heard the horn in this room. I think we're solving the riddle of the Sphinx one bit at a time. Okay, so he's, like, on the lower part of this. Exactly. Oh my god. I bet you he's up on a tree. He's up there, isn't he? Oh my god, that son of a bitch! He was hiding here! Does this mean I'm gonna be. He's gonna be up on treetops the entire time? Oh my god. I've been overlooking this guy because he was not on the ground. Okay, so he just randomly disappears for no reason. Like, I was literally looking at him and he, bam, he just disappeared. This is the room I fought him before. This time it's personal. Yeah, I'm not happy with you, either. Okay, so I'm guessing this is gonna be like a fight where I'm gonna be using my arrows a lot. I mean, look, as soon as I try to hit him... He's gonna try to get away. Watch. Oh! Okay, I could've hit him anyway. Guess I'll just have to get rid of the puppets. Because they won't let me aim at them. Uh, there is a reason why they're dropping arrows all the time. Oh, he got away. It's like he's right next to me. 
Oh, I think I see him. There. Okay, I hope this is the last round. He's got a good lung supply, I must say. There, right in the head. Hopefully it's still nighttime. Doesn't look like it though. Hee <laughs> hee! That was fun! I'll tell you what, I'll let you into a secret place. You know what you should do? You should like mark this place on a map. Like give the Sacred Grove a map now. So that I don't get lost. Well, I can push this block down. I'm guessing this is going to be a shortcut. Ah, that's nice. Okay, so this is where I solved that puzzle and got the Master Sword. The Sacred Ancient Forest! So this was what they were talking about. Well, was there any other forest? I'm pretty sure there was like no doubt it was this place. What's the best place to get back down? Oh, it's up here, right? Yeah, and if I wanted to get back up, I'd go that way. Gotcha. Alrighty then. I guess we'll try to check out here. Hmm. Strike this. So let's do that. What happens if I put the Master Sword back down? Huh. Oh! That doorway wasn't there before. But it is now. Also, I, th I heard there was a warp point that you can unlock here. So hopefully we can get it this time. Yes, we can. This will make travel back to the Sacred Grove a little bit better. Oh god, five of these things. Not to mention there are some flying creatures. Oh god, so many keys. No, I, I don't want to get all of these guys. That's better. That's the way I wanted that to go down. Perfect. So, this doorway that we just opened might be worth my while to check it out. So how do we get there again? Well, I guess I can go to those ruins. Right up here. Go to that block. I remember I already got this gold bug. So now we just need to climb up here. See, now that statue's gone. Huh? Black and white land? Okay, so this is some strange stick going on here. Am I... Is this still the Sacred Grove, but in the past? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, baby. It's our last gold bug. How about that? We got every single one of them. What is this dungeon, anyway? It sounds like the Temple of Time. Actually, before I check that out, and that'll be a good time to end the episode because I've been stretching for far too long. But actually, at the start of the next episode, I'm going to return to Agatha so I can give her that last gold bug and complete that side quest for good. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.